Modern mobile devices are amazing tools for gaming. They give you this great experience right on the screen with tons of sensors to capture touch and gestures to enhance your gaming experience. With all this technology, wouldn't it be great if you could experience the fun of playing a game in the same room as your friends? My name is Nathan Camarillo, and with Google Cast Games, you can recapture that magic of sitting down in your house and playing a great game with your friends all on your own devices. So what is a Google Cast game? A Google Cast game enables multi-screen gameplay between mobile devices and television. When you combine the biggest screen in the house with an amazing controller, great things can happen. But making a great game with Google Cast is more than just linking your devices together. So I'm here with a few handy design tips to help you make your game night even more successful. One of the most critical points in making a Cast game is simply, how does someone find and join a game? The way to accomplish this is to make sure that your game can find nearby cast devices and automatically present the user with the option to cast as part of the game setup flow. Thankfully for you, the developer, this is easy to enable. Just set up the game with the Google Cast SDK. One thing I want you to remember when you're making your game is that you need to decide where you can play your game. If you're making a game that can be played on the mobile device, away from the television, we call this a cast-enabled game. It's the kind of game you can play on the go, away from home, but then connect when there's a cast device available. If the game can only be played as part of the Google Cast experience, we call this a cast-required game. No matter which cast technology solution you choose for your game, these are two universal concepts that apply to all games. Now let's look at a spectrum of game controls. Abstract Controls interacts with action on the screen via some other mechanism, such as motion or touch anywhere. Think of a sports game or a driving game. I can swing a racket or a baseball bat or use a device like a steering wheel. The power of this type of control is that everyone intuitively knows how to do these actions, and being active in a game is often very fun. Abstract Controls also cover simple games where you tap anywhere on the screen to make a character move or jump. While the interaction is very, very simple, this too is very easy for people to learn quickly. Direct controls occur when you touch the thing you want to interact with, like a button or a slider. This would happen in a game where you are answering quiz questions or casting spells by tapping on bottles of potion. Your focus needs to temporarily be on the device, but this is a great way to utilize private information in your game design. Virtual controls are somewhere in between. You touch something on the device to control something else on the screen. This would be like a gamepad with virtual buttons. In this case, the player needs to understand how the device screen is being used and if there are specific gestures or touch regions or different actions that need to be used. Once you've decided on the game's input method, consider the key characteristics of the game. What is the pace? Is there public versus private information like poker? Is there multiplayer? Being aware of how these characteristics will affect gameplay will help you make decisions around the input mechanics and how to display information on both the mobile device and the television. For visual design, remember not to fatigue the player by making them constantly look up and down. Design the television's experience to be viewed from across the room, and remember that mobile design needs to be, at, needs to be great at a distance less than arm's length. It's important to understand this relationship between devices as well as what to emphasize differently on each. How are your devices and the Google Cast endpoint going to connect to each other? We have two solutions for you, but each one has different implications. First, let's talk about how Cast applications work. The first model is what we call a receiver Cast game. An app running on the sender, which is your mobile device, connects to a receiver device, which is any Cast device like a Chromecast, and passes along the ID of an application to load. The receiver loads that application written in HTML5 and JavaScript from the cloud. In this model, we recommend using the Game Manager APIs for Google Cast, which is part of the Google Cast SDK. Game Manager APIs make it faster and easier for game developers like yourself to cast enable their apps across all the devices we support, Android, iOS, Chrome browsers, and get those devices connected to a Chromecast or an Android TV. We want you to do what you do best, and that's make great games. So we provided this code to help you get your cast game started. Now you might be asking yourself, we have this giant TV, a Chromecast, and we have this amazing computer in our pocket. Couldn't we do a little bit more? Of course we can. That's why we created the Remote Display APIs for Google Cast. There's millions of mobile devices with powerful GPUs and sensors ready to send amazing interactive content to the largest screen in the home. 
With the Remote Display APIs for Google Cast, this is now possible. Remote Display for Android and iOS allows app developers to take full advantage of the multi-screen Google Cast model. Integrating Remote Display means you can harness all of those increasingly powerful CPUs and GPUs in your phone and build dual display games where you use the phone to render both a local display and a virtual one. And we handle displaying the virtual display on the large screen via our Cast protocol. If you think about it, this makes total sense. Why not harness the power of something in your hand to send a great image to the TV? This allows you to create games using cutting edge 3D graphics with AAA effects and HD textures and send that amazing world to the television. We have many great games like Just Dance Now, Big Web Quiz, and Scrabble Blitz, as well as some sample apps available which utilize the methods we just covered to make great games. Just like these games, your real creative genius shows itself when you combine great social multiplayer with the power of mobile devices on the big screen. When you do it all right, you create an entirely new living room experience and players really get involved in the game. We've seen this happen with several great cast games already and we want yours to be next. Visit developers.google.com slash cast to learn more. We provide you with the SDK, sender SDKs for Android, iOS, and Chrome, sample apps that help you get started, game debugger apps and a debug UI for the receiver, UX guidelines for cast games, and all the SDK documentation and reference. There are so many unexplored games just waiting to be created to inspire and excite millions of gamers. Go make something awesome.